Hello friends and happy Saturday. We are headed to the barn. It is cold and I'm trying to beat the rain. So we're going to get going. Um, it's also snoot boob Saturday. So if you're seeing this, you're not gonna be seeing this on a Saturday probably, but head over to my Instagram and every Saturday you can send me pictures of your favorite snoot that you would like booped. And I put some of them on my story. So usually it's horses, but if you don't have a horse, then your dog, your cat, your lizard, your best friend, whatever snoot needs booped, you send it over and I will put it on my story. But let's head to the so, barn. The monkey is down by the lower barn, his paddock is, and but my stuff is on the upper barn. And so I just grabbed some baling twine and made myself some reins to go on this halter. And we're riding up to the upper barn because, you know, walking is just way too much work. So Monkey is actually my Western horse but we don't have a western saddle that fits right now and saddles are expensive so this saddle fits better so we just ride english and it's good cross training so he likes to pretend that he's an inventor huh even though he's not very vertically gifted i tried some people ask me if i've ever jumped him and uh probably the second summer i ever had him uh i tried to take him over this cavaletti which was like 12 or 18 inches high and I tried to just trot him over it and he knocked it over like he could have stepped over it and he was just like uh uh nope absolutely not I do not do anything vertical so um monkey's just a flat horse but I would love to take him to like a dressage show or something just because why not so that's on the bucket list for next year or something is to just you know take him to a dressage show for fun and he's cute so why not I just let Monkey trot and then lope up the hill and I just started like giggling like a little kid. I haven't done that in so long and I probably shouldn't let him because it's naughty, but oh my god, sometimes you just need a little serotonin boost and that is 100% what I just got. <laughs> and it's beautiful, look. Just got his tail up a little bit, he's excited. <laughs> We're gonna go turn the monkster out. He really thinks there's food in that garbage. And we're gonna go get tiny. Run around like a goofball with your girlfriend. Go on. <laughs> Buck says that I have a very dirty horse out there. <sighs> Mud by the gate. Ah! Just about off to myself. Ty! Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get all the way out there, right up to him, and then he's going to run to the gate. Because he hates me! So one day I'll die. I'm trying to catch my horse. Look how muddy you are! It's like caked in every nook and cranny, sir. I hope you enjoyed your roll in the mud. I like to ride them in and sit on their blankets because their blankets are usually clean. Not today. Here comes V. So I'm taking his boyfriend. Guy's gonna pin his ears, someone's gonna squeal because there's so much drama!
you think he's starved by the way he walks back up to his paddock. He's like, must eat grass. He has a round bale. There's an entire round bale out there for him and his pasture buddy. And they never touch it. They're just like, nope. And it's good hay. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. But he's just like, nope. I am too good for that. barn hair. Isn't that everybody's favorite? I guess that just means that I was wearing a helmet, right? Gotta protect the noggin. Time to go home. Hello friends. I had originally filmed this section of my video when I got home from the barn and my phone deleted the video. So we're back doing it again. It is the end of 2020 and I just wanted to share some thoughts that I had from my visit to the barn, which you all just came with me for. Um, something that I have been wanting to do ever since I started boarding at the farm where I am is take Ty all the way up to the top of the farm and back to the barn. And I had been putting it off because I expected him to be, um, kind of a handful about it since he would have to be going away from his buddies and that's usually not something he's super comfortable with. But I just got it in my head that I was going to do that today and there were no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And I took him all the way up to the top of the farm and back with no issues whatsoever. He was actually better than Monkey. And Monkey is usually my do anything with no questions asked horse. But um, I just feel like a lot of times we get in our own way with riding and anything. And we need to have a little bit more faith in our horses, I think. We know our horse's limits and there's a safety aspect to staying within those, but there are also times where we get it in our head that, oh, I can't, you know, jump water because my horse won't jump water, or I can't ride my horse past this thing because my horse is really afraid of this thing. And that may be true, but at the same time, our horses pick up when we're making a big deal out of something and they're going to be more likely to think that it's a big deal. So when I took Ty out, I just had it in my head that this was fine. This wasn't anything different than th things that we did on other days. And we were going to ride up to the top of the farm and it was going to be a blast. And he was great. And now since I filmed this video, we've ridden up to the top of the pot farm, I think three times. And he's been great every time. And he hasn't shied at anything or spooked or lost his mind he almost seems excited about it and i feel guilty that i didn't have confidence in him to be able to do that and i don't believe in over personifying horses by any means there are definitely things that certain horses are afraid of or can't do for physical reasons like monkey's never going to be a four foot jumper but it's like we project our own insecurities onto our horse and I felt like I couldn't handle taking Ty up to the top of the hill if he got stupid, which is a reasonable insecurity to have, especially with my back injury. I ride a lot more cautiously than maybe I would have a year ago. And so um, I just kept thinking, well, I can't handle it if he gets stupid, so we just won't do it. But I also never tried. and. You know, I also knew in my head that if we started getting to a point where he was, you know, getting uncomfortable, I wasn't going to push it because obviously I'm not riding at my best. I'm not in tip top shape. So, you know, if I would have gotten 50 feet from his buddies and had he started to call at that point or pace or seem, you know, flustered in any way, I wouldn't have pushed it. I would have just, you know, made him stand calm right where we were and then gone back. I wasn't going to push it to the point of being dangerous but I didn't know where that point was because I hadn't looked for it. And so it was really exciting and I think we both had a blast. His ears were perked the whole time and he was like ready to go. Um, like he was excited to see where we were going and he got to see new horses and new parts of the farm. So it was great. But that's the moral of the story for today. I appreciate you for being here. Make sure you subscribe. My YouTube channel is really new. But we have a lot of fun over on TikTok and Instagram, so those are in the description box below, and I would love to have you 
join me and tell me something that you've overcome recently with your horse or an insecurity that you're working on with your riding. So thanks for being here. Remember to thank your horse, thank your team, and enjoy your ride.